This is a first installment of five spontaneous minutes uh, on the uh, subject of public education. Um, the subject, it's really not about education. It's, it's about, uh, you know, everybody thinks that everybody's well motivated, but, you know, everybody has their own self-interest. And, uh, you know, the teacher's union is self-interested. And uh, education isn't being done in an efficient manner. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's being done to maintain jobs. Um, I, here I call them overpaid performance artists because teachers, uh, you know, it's, instead of recording what they do, instead of making permanent records that could be used over and over and over again, instead of uh, videotaping classrooms and running it on cable television. Um, they're insisting <laughs> on a system that requires it to be redundantly performed over and over and over, this, this, this thing called learning or education or teaching. Or, and it, it's just totally unnecessary. Um, we have the technology now uh, where information can be made available really efficiently. And the, the, uh, the only obstacle to uh, learning is uh, your own motivation, your, own, your, own, your time, how much time you have to invest in it. And, uh, and that's the equation now. I mean, we, we could do education at a tenth of the cost and do it better than we're doing it now. Uh, if it weren't for this idea that we have to, you know, uh, retain wooden wheels, you know, it's like almost a square wheel. Um, we're, we're, we're just being, we're glorifying, um, you know, an archaic, uh, um, you know, long past way of doing things. And, and, you know, no one likes to bad mouth teachers, but that's the bottom, you know, they're, they're smart enough to figure this out. They're smart enough to, they know, they know what video cameras are, you know, they know what a DVD player is, they know what a, uh, 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 one of those, uh, uh, you know, digital recorders are. Uh, so th this isn't this isn't stuff that that's beyond their capacity to understand. But they also understand they want a career in education, and the only way they can have those careers in education is if we do this the hard way. So anyway, that's that's really what it's all about. It's not about instructing children; it's about motivating them. And so that'd be the second side of this equation is we have all this technology we're not using. And so let's use it, you know, especially if, if kids can perform, if they can do the work and uh, achieve the grade and pass the test, then yeah, if, if they can be educated in their living room, then why not? Why, why do we need to build these, these huge giant complexes and send kids off to them to learn? Um, you know, there's some training that, yeah, requires instruments and whatnot, and that should be done in, in an institution, in a school. But most education is just absorbing the knowledge, the tedious, that's, that's the tedious part of it. And that's the part they can do at home. They can read a book at home, and they can certainly watch television at home. And uh, there's just no, nothing stopping us from moving to that um, kind of a, a mechanism for the distribution of, of knowledge. Um, but again, it's back, back to motivation. Uh, you don't need teachers to tell kids how to learn. Once they know how to read and write, you need, uh, they, they need to be motivated. And so instead of spending this preposterous amount of money on teachers and buildings and hardware and paper and bureaucracy, uh, let's just pay kids to learn. You know, if you if you if you if there was a a hundred and fifty thousand dollar prize, well, that's what you know the average student probably costs to get through high school. Uh, I'm gonna go a little longer. Um, if there was that kind of prize when I was a kid, yeah, you bet I would have got a high school education. I probably would have had one when I was thirteen or twelve or eleven. That's a lot of money. We gave a kid half that much for graduating for high school, you know, for passing an equivalency test. We would have high school graduates, you know, the average age would, what, 12? You know? I mean, that's motivation. And that's what works. And it, 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 it would uplift, it would, get, it would give poor kids an incentive, it would get people out of all this stupid sports and all this other nonsense, because they'd, they'd understand that they're getting rewarded directly for learning.